Today I will show you how to create animated GIF in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you how to create short animation in Photoshop and how to create animated GIF from your layers, from your project file. For example, if you want to show your client or to uh, put online short video or short GIF file, how you build up your project file, how you created your photo manipulation or how you retouched your image, but with layer by layer turning on. Today I will show you how to do that really quickly and easy. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, this is the image for today and I will extract this ball out of the background using elliptical marquee tool. Press and hold shift to have a perfect circle and then press and hold space bar to move that selection around. And I will position it here around this ball. It doesn't need to be so precise, this is just for example. Like so, press Ctrl Command J to extract that ball out of the background, that's nice. And let's create a new layer and fill it with white color. Now let's make this ball smaller, Ctrl Command T and by holding a shift to constrain the proportions, make it smaller like so and press OK when you're ready. Alright, now we need to load our timeline panel and our, our animation panel, just go to the window and go to the timeline here and that's it and just press here create frame animation and we have this tool here if we move the ball you will see this small window will refresh automatically and first what i want to show is how to really easy and quickly create short animation out of this only one layer so first i want to position this ball somewhere here for example, doesn't matter, this is just for example, you can be even more creative and then create new layer here. Actually, it will copy this one, but it will be a new layer and now position this ball here. And now you, you need to select both layers by holding control key and just select those two layers and click on this tweening option. Just click, press and click on that and choose the frames in between those two frames, in between first and the second frame. And Photoshop will automatically add number of frames you choose to be in between those two frames and it will make animation out of that. You will see really quickly. So we will use maybe 15 frames. It's nice. And that's it. All layers, selected layers. Yeah, selected layers because we want to affect only this ball. and tween with previous frame. You have the first frame or previous frame. Yeah, we want to tween with the previous frame and press OK. And now if we go to the beginning and press play here, you will see that's nice. But I made a mistake. That's nice to see because if you made a mistake like I did, I will show you how to correct it. If you see all other frames doesn't have a background and that's bad because I selected only the current layer, not all layers. I will undo this. Again, press and hold the last frame, control to select the first one, tweening option and uh, all layers. Just select all layers, press OK, and now you will have that white background in. And we have this ball going down and all, uh, all those layers in between Photoshop made automatically. And that's really nice and quickly. Now let's create bouncing effect Let's duplicate this last layer, go to la layer 17 in this case, press again this new layer option and move this ball out. Maybe it can be out of the frame like so. And now press control, click on the previous layer, go to those, that winning option and just press OK. And now if you press play, we have really short and really nice animation. All right, now we have a few options here. We have this one, it's for numbers of times uh, that this animation will be repeated. Now it's set to once, we, we can set it to three times forever or some other options, maybe play 10 times and then stop. Okay, I will now set forever because I want this animation to loop forever, like so. It's really nice and interesting and this ball will go 
forever like this until we stop the animation. Another really nice uh, option is you have numbers of seconds uh, down below every frame here, every layer here. Actually, those are frames. Okay, and you can set, uh, select all frames by pressing on the first one and then go to the last one, press and hold shift and just click on the last one. And you can select all frames at once and just choose maybe 0 0.5 seconds and all every each frame will last for 0 0.5 seconds. This will be completely stupid for this animation, but just to show you that this is an option, it will go really, really slow, 0 0.5 seconds each frame and so on, so on. We don't want that, let's undo that. We can maybe go here to frame number 17 and just go to that frame and say, let's pause on this frame for one second and then go normal speed. Okay, press play, it will pause here and then go again. Okay, sometimes you will need that to achieve some kind of effect. Maybe you want to animate a guy that it's passing by and you want that, him to stop in one moment and then continue to go to the other part of the frame. Okay, that's how you can really quickly and nicely animate anything in Photoshop by using that tweening option. Now I will show you how to animate, how to make animation out of your stack of layers to show your client or anybody else how you build your project layer by layer. So let's do that. All right, guys, for this example, I will use this image. It's just the background for a photo that I created. Uh, it's some Star Wars story. You can find that photo on my Instagram account. And I will show you how to create build up effect from those layers step by step really quickly and easy. Again, you need to go to window and that timeline. We have it here. Just click create frame animation and you have first frame. All right, what you need to do is to unselect all layers you have selected here. Okay, let's unselect everything like so and we're almost done. Just a second, actually I think I don't need this one. And, and, and this is the first one, okay. First frame, I want to have only the first layer, right? Then I will create a new frame, like pressing on this new layer option icon and then I want to click on something here. For example, I just want first frame to show the sky and then the second frame to show the second step I did for that sky, all right? Then create a new frame and turn on the next layer. It's desaturate. Then new frame, add some clouds on top of that. Then again, new frame, add another effect, brighten the sky in that top right corner and so on and so on. New frame and just click on new layer. New frame and just click maybe you can add two of them in the same time or if you want one by one. New frame, next one. New frame, next one and maybe two in the same time. Then new frame, just desaturate them, maybe make them darker and brighter in the upper parts in the same frame. Then new frame, add those pile of trash. Then new frame, make the trash darker, darker and desaturated in one frame. Then again, new frame and add that maybe like so. And now I will add all of this in one frame. So now that we are finished with building our animation, let's press play and see how this look like, looks like. Okay play and it's too quick it's too quick now here is a great uh, th those seconds will will be really handy for us because we will slow down this animation so select everything press on the first one uh, hold the uh, press and hold shift on the last frame and just use maybe 0 0.5 seconds and press play let's see that's much better yeah, that's really, really nice. And you have enough time to see how this project was created from layers, build up one by one layer, All right? If you want to pause on some layer, maybe for two seconds, just to show clients that part of the 
timeline, you can just go any layer, for example, this one and just go two seconds. And if you press play, again, it will build up layer by layer. And here it will pause for two seconds and then it will continue to build up so and so on. Or you can maybe pause on the last one for maybe five seconds if you want uh, to, to show the final result for a little bit longer. So if you go here and press this uh, forever to repeat forever, it will go like so. It will pause two seconds on this layer. Then it will continue on and on and it will pause for five seconds on the last one and then it will repeat from the beginning and it will go forever. Okay, now let's stop it. And how to export this? I didn't show you in the previous uh, example how to export this as animated GIF, but I will show you here. It's completely the same procedure. So when you're finished with all of this, just go on the first layer, uh, first frame. I don't think that you need to go to the first frame, but let's go to the first frame, go to file, export and save for web. Okay, I'm, I always use this shortcut Alt Shift Control S or uh, Command Control Shift S. And now we will have a new window. It's really, really big file. It takes time to calculate this. Uh, actually, for, for web, this is too big. I will press escape to cancel this, but we need to wait for a moment. Okay, and now we need to resize this image to be a little bit smaller to suit the web purposes. Okay, for that you can press Ctrl uh, Alt I on a keyboard or just go to the image and image size like so. And then you can see this is way big resolution for a web. I will make it 800 by 533, okay, and press OK, and it will go way smaller. Now it's much better, we will zoom this, and now press again Shift Control Alt S or Shift Command Option S on a Mac and make this window a little bit bigger, and now it's better. Here on the presets you can choose GIF, I will go to this higher a version of uh, of just a second yeah this higher version the the higher quality of preset and we can even go here to 100% to preserve even more details and that's it and we can go to the colors and go all the way to 256 and it will be really really nice so here we can choose anything but i will use default quality and that's it. You can preview the animation by clicking here to preview or you can play it here to see it's everything, if everything is okay and you can stop it whenever you want and just press save when you're ready. I will save it on desktop like so and that's it. Now you can go to your browser and just play that from your browser or you can just play it in Windows in picture viewer like so. And here it is in a picture viewer, your animation is ready, you can upload it anywhere you want. It's, uh, it will repeat forever because we set that kind of settings in Photoshop. And that's basically it. It will pause on the last frame for 5 seconds and then it will go on and on. Let me show you one more thing. You can actually render a video out of these frames. You don't need to save it as a GIF file. You can save it as a GIF, I already showed you. But for example, if you want to upload it to Instagram or maybe YouTube, you can render video out of this really quickly and easy and then upload it when wherever you want. So let me show you that. Just go here to the file, export and go to render video. And here you have a few options as you will have in Adobe Premiere Pro, for example, if you are familiar with that. Just select Adobe Media Encoder here, use a format, this uh, H.264, it's standard for MP4 format that you will see here. Uh, Star Wars concept, it's mp4 format, it's a video, high quality, document size, it will be the default document size, frame rate, you can change the frame rate, etc, etc. And when you're ready, just press render and you will render video out of this. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it. This is a really easy and handy way how to create short animation in Photoshop, to export it as a GIF or as a video to show your clients, friends, 
followers or anybody else online, that short animation or how you build up your project files step by step. Those are exactly the same steps that I'm doing when I'm creating my short animation of how I did video that I'm uploading on Instagram or sometimes on YouTube. And that's it. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. So practice, experiment, have fun and see you next week in the next fun episode. Bye bye. It's about or as a video. It's about as a video. It's your Gemini. Your Gemini. Your image. These, those are. And to a.